When you are doing something in analog electronics, the signal tracer is a very helpful instrument. And I made it here. This is the signal tracer that I always use during my videos on YouTube. I've taken it apart for this video. And in fact it's nothing more or less than a good quality audio amplifier. I'm going to pan over the circuit somewhat later. At first the properties from such a signal tracer. It must have a high input impedance so that it doesn't load the source. It must be portable in my opinion so that you can use it on all kinds of locations and the sound must be quite good, more or less hi-fi. Um, that letter thing uh, it's something to, to talk about. It's, it's a point of discuss, discours. Okay. Here the, the circuit from the amplifier and it needs a very good power supply about that later. Here a 2.7 ohm resistor, here also, here also and with this switch you can switch between an external box and the internal speaker and here you see the internal speaker, very cheap uh, loudspeaker. I always connect a good quality loudspeaker like this one in my YouTube videos. But um, it's necessary to have uh, such a small uh, 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 loudspeaker here when you use it in a portable application. Also here a resistor from 2.7 ohms to prevent a too high output current that can damage the transistors. And input impedance is high. DC cannot enter the first stage. We have two capacitors here and a 100k pot meter so that's very good. PMP transistor with a good amplification factor 300 or so or 200 NPN and this is the classical uh, output stage with a, a NPN and a PMP transistor. You always need very good power supply without any hum and that's realized here. 10 volt Zener um, a series regulator, capacitor here and here <coughs> the LED and uh, the output cap. This um, uh, capacitor suppresses the hum extremely so that you don't have any hum. Here <coughs> we are going to the inner side. 470 microfarad cap, small transformer. In the middle of the screen now the bridge rectifier, the black thing in the middle of the screen. Very small transformer, all from a wall transformer. And that's mounted here inside. Here the circuit. What you see here is the uh, stabilizer, the voltage stabilizer and the hum suppressor. Here we have two transistors BD139, BD140 etc etc. Here we have the input um, potentiometer. Very simple circuit and normally you have to glue the diode to the um, uh, transistors to uh, make that they act as a kind of uh, stabilizing. They stabilize this, uh, the quiescent current. These two diodes normally are glued here to the collector, but that's not necessary here. So here we have complete free schematic, no worries about uh, complicated circuits or so. Here the output, external speaker and here the switch to switch between this cheap speaker and the external speaker. I'm going to play some music now, again in Albany, New York. Change the volume from that signal tracer. I have 
have to tell that these boxes were specially made to uh, give a kind of bass boost. That's all in this book. Schematics to audio amplifiers and loudspeaker boxes that I've written. Co Tillman or Radio M232. So there's nothing more to tell about the circuit. Pin connections from the transistors. And well, let's pan over the circuit. Cheap speaker. External box. These are the necessary resistors to limit the current. Keep it all safe. I've used this now for approximately 16 years and it still works. Transformer is a wall transformer and I wish you luck with the circuit. Very helpful in electronics.